Let's review how to use a market replay simulator. Okay, we're going to do a general overview about how to use it. So it's very simple. Assuming that you understand how a trading application works, most of the widgets that we have should be extremely familiar to you. For example, here we have a level two, which you should find in any or most brokers. You could have here the position, which is going to tell you, of course, what position you have or not open at the moment. You have the order widget, which is going to tell you which orders you have placed. The place order, which allows you to, as it says, a widget place order. The screener widget allows you to scan through a specific um, stocks, giving your you're going to give the, the screener your criteria of what you want to scan for. All right. Watch list, uh, you're going to add your um, your ticket symbols that you find um Interesting at uh, time of sales, of course, every all the trades that are happening, key stats, um, some key stats that we consider that you should know or that you might want to be aware. And finally, the account, which is going to tell you how how are you doing, how are you truly doing. Now, in order to how to use this is fairly simple. All you need to do is to select a day from the past, and then you can start your paper trading, your training, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna select a day from 2022, and I wanna say that it's, well, not October, but I'm gonna say that it's um, May 27, okay? And I can select what time do I wanna start the replay. We do have a um, pre-market, so you are able to select if you wanna or not start from the pre-market. Right now we have a set by default that it's gonna start at 9.30, right at market open, okay? So right now I click on play and then that's it. That's all I need to do. Uh, literally I just selected a day, click on play, and now I'm replaying the market exactly as it happened on that specific date and time. Okay, now here you're gonna be able to place the orders as you normally will on your trading application. For example, I wanna place an order here for a, a meta here. I wanna place a thousand. Okay, more for a thousand shares. There we go, I got a fill. And um, I'm able to continue trading, uh, practicing as I would normally do on a trading application. But again, I'm doing it with a, a, a trading, a trading session that happened in the past, exactly as it happened. All right.